Hey, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how I supplied oxygen to my growing mist. My floating raft grow bed. So I have two over here. So I'll show you how I supplied oxygen to this one using two different air pumps over here. So the first method I used was actually using half inch PVC pipe. I put it at the bottom in different methods, drill holes in it to see if it worked. That didn't work so well. And the second method I show in this video, I used some, I think it is, uh, well, it's this right here, wherever it is. It is some, I think, irrigation piping for your garden. It has a corrugated thing, it has all these holes in it, and that's the second way I use in that vid in this video that I'll be showing you. So in there, you can see the two different methods I use to supply oxygen to this grow bed. If it's in your DWC or floating raft grow bed, you need a lot of oxygen for the plants to grow, so I'll be showing you that in this video. You can see how it's working. So I have one pump over here and one over there. So I have these four things with holes going through it's working better with less water in but you can see that it's not getting everywhere it would have been cool if it did but it's also making a lot of noise so what I'm gonna try doing as well is see how it works with just three different ones and see if that's better otherwise this is a experiment to get air into my DWC grow bed or floating raft grow bed so I'll change it up and show you and that is how it works with three of them. Still not getting the results I would like. Now I only have two of them going to, along. Even with just two pipes, it still isn't working how I would like it. So I'll probably change this later on, but you can see the idea that I tried. Probably if these pumps were stronger, it would be better. But otherwise, that is how that looks. So the idea is pretty cool. You can see it works okay but not how I want it to, because I need more going into different multiple places. But I, basically I have the pump going down here. I originally had just the one, which is on the other side. You can see over there going into this, but it wasn't running enough. So basically it's half inch PVC pipe made into a kind of rectangular frame. And it has multiple holes drilled in it. So you can see the air coming out. If it worked, it would have been nice. But maybe if these pumps were stronger, it would do it better justice. Or if I drill less holes, maybe. But I will do something else. But you can see the general idea. Let me unplug this so you can... Okay. Now you can see, without the water bubbling, on this side is going from this pump. So I got two of these. I took out the PVC pipe I had in here and now I'm using this, I don't know exactly what it's called. Can make it out kind of. It's this black tire kind of material. You can see it right here. So I tried it like this. But I'm gonna switch it up. I'll show you how it works with it like this, but I think it doesn't doesn't work the best because you can see most of the bubbles are coming out here here you can now see that is working better it's not ideal but it is much better than how I had it with the PVC you can see that both at both ends where the pump is coming through there is more oxygen coming through the that tire kind of pipe thing this is probably because at those areas there are more holes. Is that originally this actually wasn't there wasn't anything here. So I think the holes open up for them to come through. So hopefully it stays relative like this or this becomes better in the center. But that is how the ends look. So I have it on two pumps. It'd be cool if it was on one, but that works how it is now. So bas I basically have this pipe down here held in by rocks as you can see down here and the pipe there I'll turn it off and show you just in a sec but that how that is how it goes basically so that's pretty good I think that will give sufficient oxygen for the plants that I have so here you can see where so here you can see the kind of piping I'm using I 
I'll look up the name of it, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's some tire material or some tire, yeah, this tire. And that's what I have lining the bottom of this tank here. You can see the pipe at the bottom. So it basically goes like a snake kind of pattern, you can say, all along the bottom of here. And then it's held in by these rocks. And then you can see. So that is basically how that is. So I have two pumps, one here, then one over there. Oh, my finger. One over there, so that gives a good supply. But I only have those, and then for this one, I have a smaller pump, so it doesn't give as much. You can see, I have this hooked up like this into a diverter, and then it goes up to that same system underneath. But it doesn't give as much, so I need to change that up. But you can see I have that running, basically. I have the air circulation, and it looks like it's doing well, but you can see my plants are growing. In that video, I just showed you how I supplied oxygen to my two floating rafts on my DWC grow beds. So I used two different methods. I first tried one thing using PVC pipe, which didn't work so well. You saw that. It would have been cool because it would have supplied it everywhere. And then I did it another way using different pipes going along the bottom or some tubing, I think that's some irrigation tubing to go along the bottom in a snake-like pattern so that did the job better so you're able to see that and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and remember if you haven't done so already to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna transplant this into the soil garden. Let's check out these roots. I use two hands. Here's how the roots look. 